I want to talk to you about how I set up the bow hunt out of a ground blind. All right, there's a couple things. The majority of the ground blind hunting that I do is for turkeys. So if I'm turkey hunting, the first thing I've got going on is I'm shooting a wasp jackhammer. That seems to be the best turkey head that I have found. It works really well for me. Now about the setup more specifically. One of the first things I do is I always check and I make sure all these windows to my back are closed as much as I can get them. That way, there's no silhouette possibility from a turkey or deer or whatever walking out in front of me. So that's checklist number one, all right? Making sure that you're not presenting a silhouette. If you can wear dark colored clothing, kind of like this long sleeve wasp shirt right here, it always works well too. The next thing I do is you always have in mind which way you think the animal's gonna come from. So if I believe they're gonna come kind of right out in front of me, which would be obvious because that's how I've got my shooting window set up, then what I wanna do is position my chair, since I'm a right-handed shooter, around like this right here. That way, I'm not having to twist or contort or anything else to make the shot. So what I've got is my background taken care of. That way I'm not silhouetted. Two, I've got my chair positioned to where I can shoot all the way left to right. If I was sitting straight ahead facing you in the chair, I'd have a really hard time shooting things to my right being a right-handed shot. So that's checklist thing number two right there. Third, I want to make sure that I'm as back far in the blind as I can get. That way I've got plenty of room to swing and draw my bow without the arrow of the broadhead hitting anything on the front side of the blind. The other great point about doing that is it also gets you back into the dark of the blind. We already talked about the silhouette being taken care of. Well, the other side is don't be right up at the windows where all the light from the outside is hitting you. So if I'm back in the blind, I'm positioned right, Silhouette's taken care of. I can get away with a lot of movement back here. And it's so simple from there. All you need is the big old gobbler or big old buck to show up then. So what I do is I'm always positioned, I'm always looking. Let's say the deer, turkey, whatever's coming in from the right, I can easily draw without hitting anything on the front side of the blind. And boom, I'm set up, ready to make the shot. When I do get set up in the blind, I will draw back and just make sure for practice sake that I have plenty of clearance with all the windows in the blind. So that way I'm not gonna accidentally in the heat of the moment, the excitement, the fun, the frustration, the whatever, that I'm accidentally gonna catch an edge of a window or a shooting opening as I make the shot. So those are a few tips on how I set up and get ready once I'm set up in a ground blind. Hey, you can watch this video and a whole lot more right here at wasparchery.com.